Okay, final update of the movie room. This is the completed room. Do a little bit of a tour here, show you guys everything that we did. Columns, micro suede fiber, walls, columns, EL wire. We got the screen. Still good brightness to be able to watch stuff. This is with all of the lights on in the room. Bar lit up. And if you remember from the previous videos, the screen is on a track system. I don't know if you can see that back there. But anyway, with one hand, we can push the screen. Lock it in place, open the egress, and uh, be able to exit, get in for storage, maintenance, cleaning, whatever. So, but most importantly, if there's an issue, we can get out of the movie room. We can just shut it back up and slide the screen back over into place. And you can hear it lock into place there. All nice, easy, one-handed motion here. Coming around the other wall, you can see the uh, wire. Fiber optics are on. Fiber optics are nice touch. As in previous videos, we uh, put the micro suede on the wood up on top because the paint wasn't dark enough paint reflected a lot of the night. The light is seriously reflected pretty uh, good by the uh, the fabric on the wall. Coming around this way we got the double entry door and movie rack with the DVDs, Blu-rays, mostly Blu-rays, a couple DVDs and display for some of my paper crafts that I do. Assassin's Creed one's pretty tight. I don't know if it comes out in this video or not. Spire of the Dragon. Coming across to the component rack. We have the uh, 3D glasses. The Pioneer Elite receiver. The SC82. PS4, PS3. And room for expansion. Games. Candy. On that side. PS4 games, some of the kids of Skylanders that we collected there, mini fridge, and the bar, and uh, saw a couple art prints that we had to get for the for the movie room. This one here for the the bar area by Michael Goddard, and uh, this one here as well, hundred dollar bill again, Michael Goddard burning hundred dollar bill. Because uh, I thought it was kind of appropriate, okay, everything that we wanted to do for the movie room. Hey, let's grab this, let's do that. Oh, it's just another $100 bill. So, money to burn. So we got it for the, uh, the movie room here. Coming back around, we'll show you a little bit of a clip here. Show off the, the, the theater. Um, all the lights are on Lutron dimmers. So we'll dim the lights down, and uh, here's a little clip of Transformers. You can see the EL wire uh, really makes the uh, the room pop quite a lot, and uh, we really enjoy that. But here, here's a little bit of Transformers. MH-53 pilot, power down now. Have your crew step out or we will kill you. Well, 
there. As you can see, video is pretty legit. Audio is even more amazing. And uh, as I stated in previous video, I would post and tell you guys how much it costs to, uh, to do this. And I should have that up on the old laptop here real quick. And here you go. Kept a spreadsheet of everything that we did, everything that we purchased, where we got it from, how much it cost, and ultimate price of everything. I'm sorry for the fisheye view of this. Uh, but there you go, middle column, total cost of the build, $4,699.79. Saved over two years to get the money to be able to do the build. Took a year to do the build itself. Six months of planning. And then uploading the videos and the whole works. The only thing I didn't buy were the speakers and the refrigerator. Um, everything else was bought. Um, also didn't buy the PS3. We uh, used that from another because we already had that. I already had the speakers. I did however need to get my sub, uh, uh, my sun, Sunfire subwoofers repaired. Um, that cost $300 which is included in the price of the, uh, the build I showed you as well. So but there you have it. Another look at the uh, do-it-yourself home theater ended up turning out fairly nice I'm pretty happy with it pretty legit and most importantly came in under the five thousand dollar budget what everybody likes about it is the couch super comfortable while well, I come down here chilling doing homework watching movies we can hook the computer up to the projection screen kids like the stars coming down here listening to music the stars the light up bar the whole works so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed the process and uh, I know that we really enjoy the room and the way it looks the way it sounds and it's everything that we hope for so I hope you guys like the videos. Any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Drop me a line on YouTube. I'll be more than happy to respond. And uh, before we go, we got the acoustic panels on the ceiling, so you can see those. They help out quite a bit with the uh, uh, audio, especially from upstairs. It just adds that more of a feeling but in any case, hope you guys enjoyed.